Okay. You are doing a one inch grid across your photograph. You'll be placing your numbers above each box, not on each line, because it's matching up the number from the square with the letter on the side. You're doing a one and a and one half inch grid on your paper. I told you that that's going to vary depending upon your um, photograph and the size that it was. You'll notice that I have extra space over here and you may have that as well and you can just make that a one inch out here however you want to make that work because it's blank here it can be blank on your painting. Then you're going to start at the top. I have found for me that that was the easiest way to do it. And you're going to start wherever you have 4A then you're going to go to 4A on your big large paper. You're going to look at all of your negative space. The negative space is the space surrounding your person. And then you're going to draw that line. This is how it's going to match up is how you make that connect into these spaces here and touch these grid lines. Then you can go over to 5A and you'll do the same thing. And you're going to really not want to do too much detail with the hair because this is a painting. So you just want to lay in those lines. Look at your negative space. Look at how much space you have. Take your time. You need to do this without talking and you need to concentrate. Then you have 6A. So you'll go to 6A. You can also put your numbers on both sides if that's more helpful or if it's something you feel you need to do. Then you're going to do the same thing on here and you're going to draw down your lines and you'll notice I had a little negative space here. That's your empty space and that's what I left also on my grid. And then you work your way down. Guys, you need to do it in order because you need your boxes to connect. That's how you're going to get the actual photograph of yourself to come out to look like yourself because all you're doing is matching up lines and spaces. 4B and you'll notice that this line here is going to connect to the top of this box here so that's going to go right there and then it's going to come down and it stops right here and that's going to leave you a little space there and you're just going to keep going then you'll go over to 5B and then you'll go to 5 sorry 6B and you'll put that in and you'll notice and then I have a 7B just a little bit and then a little bit here and then you'll just work your way down row by row and they'll connect together if you're doing it correctly